drop into an origin of energy ring pull push up and squat workout this month what I'm going to work on is a single ring pull so if you don't have a ring you can set up a towel and just do a nice close grip pull uh, with the single ring just holding it each side of the ring so you can make it easier have more weight in the feet like this get a good stretch bring that chest up otherwise you can raise and elevate the feet, make it heavier or just have the legs straight. Get into here. And I try and make sure I touch the rim to my body. Each rep, get a good squeeze with the back. Just something a bit different than going into a ring push up. So that's another reason for using one ring, it just makes it a bit quicker to adjust from one movement to the next. So here, just bring that level, because these are mounted quite high, it doesn't allow for the rings to reach the ground. So you could do it there on the toes. Uh, if you have, obviously you have a normal setup where you've got the rings lower, you can do the knees there as well. But what I'm going to do is just set my feet up on the box, get a nice deep stretch at the bottom, get a nice high position at the top. Good stretch there. Good turn out there, hitting some nice reps. Trying to keep that elbow lock. Every rep. Then I'm going to go into a single leg squat. Uh, or box step up. So using that box here, coming up, alternating the legs at the top. You can use a higher or a lower step, you can assist with that bottom leg. Just trying to get that nice hip extension at the top. So those I'm not going to go too hard on. I squat heavy on another day, just getting some range of motion work. Getting that. So let's get into this eight minute workout. Obviously if the push ups in the rings are a bit tough, get some nice push ups on the floor. That'll work well. So that's 16, 30 second beeps. Very simple, very practical. I'm gonna keep my body moving. Get it done efficiently. Guys, so here, just work with the reps that work for you now. If you haven't done a good warm up, just go light on your first two rounds, or first round super light, a little bit heavier, and then just work hard on the third and fourth round. So I do that sometimes, I've just got to get a quick workout done, and I don't want to miss it. And I've taken up too much time doing other things. It's always a way. If you get these habits now too, you'll find that you know, we all go back to a more normal existence after Corona. Got them down and you can use them in your life. And here's the challenge, just making them even effectively. That's a real skill doing that guys. Well it is if I can get them even. Getting a nice turnout at the top. Again, do the version that's right for you. I like getting a nice stretch at the bottom. 
feel my whole posterior chain turn on at the top. Make it heavy, you pull more towards the belly button. When I get that eccentric coming down, balance is about. And obviously, if you've got, if you want to work harder in it, you can do weighted squats, double leg squats, whatever works for you. As soon as you add external load, I recommend keeping a neutral line throughout, no matter what. training guys, very effective and it's just using your time constructively, being consistent, eating well, sleeping well, loving your life, putting it all together into a nice lifestyle, that's what gets real results. You know, being able to train hard for a month or two isn't sustainable if you can't put all the other stuff together.
change over on that. Good luck, that's Formula One guys. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. It's a little bit boring training by yourself sometimes, but if you can get it done quickly, get back to all the other stuff that's important in your life, you're more likely to be consistent. When you have these really long workouts and think, oh, you know, I just don't have time. You know, that's the thing that slips away when you're busy. But if you get these habits down to be able to get good workouts in regardless, uh, you know, Whole life will change and metabolic health is more important than ever. Getting those uh, risk factors down, getting your triglycerides down with a low carb diet, getting your HDL up, same thing, improving your blood pressure, good nutrition, good lifestyle, reducing all those stresses, getting rid of visceral adiposity, another huge risk factor for corona, and fasting glucose. So, you know, if you take that approach of getting good nose to tail animal meats into your diet and then minimize plants that are problematic. For me, it's most of them, but everyone's got to figure out what, what works for them. Get good sleep, stay hydrated, and just love the people and look after the people that are important to you. Uh, it makes your life so much better. See you soon.